While I'm giving you the demo, you'll realize how easy it is to use Seller Apps bulk operations and you will not want to go back to Seller Central and upload each one of your um, bulk sheets manually. So I'm really excited for you to watch the demo. Hey everyone, I'm Ria Mittal and welcome to another guide by Seller App and today we're going to be learning about bulk operations and how you can make your life so much more easier by using bulk operations on Seller App and how it works. So don't worry, I'm here to teach you that and this is going to elevate your advertising on Amazon experience to the next level. So let's get started. So as we already know, Amazon has already grown uh, to great heights this year and that has increased competition on the platform. So this is where advertising or sponsored display ads play an important role because it gives your brand visibility and it also gives your brand a standing on the platform. So as you already know, setting up your PPC campaigns or making changes to your existing PPC campaigns on Seller Central is time consuming and setting up multiple campaigns for your new brands or new products is also really time consuming and to be honest, a little painful. So naturally, your next step is to use bulk operations on Seller Central and let me tell you, it's a very scary place because there's so much going on, there's so many Excel sheets and bulk operations, to be honest, is a little scary on Seller Central. Well, don't worry, I'm here to help you out and let's check out how Seller Apps bulk operations or bulk sheets can help you. So in this video, we are going to cover what is bulk operations and what it can do, a little bit about our seller apps operation feature, how you can make the process of managing your PPC campaigns much easier. And I will also give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to use this feature on our dashboard. So let's get started. So first we're gonna start with what is bulk operations and what it can do. So seller apps bulk operation is one-stop smart solution for all the Amazon sellers out there and it is included in our advertising suite. So in simple words, you can create, edit and optimize all your PPC campaigns in bulk and this helps you save on so much more time and it will help you take away all the pain that the Seller Central brings you with bulk operations. So basically, if you are a seller who has multiple campaigns to manage and does not have a lot of time to spare, you can find our feature under the campaign manager um, called bulk operations, which I'll be showing you later in the video, but this is the feature for you and this is the video for you and this is going to help you save a lot of time. So if you're wondering what are some other things that you can do with the feature, let's take a quick look. One, you can create new campaigns, edit or pause your existing campaigns and change your campaign budgets. Two, you will be able to create new ad groups, edit, pause or even add SKUs to existing ad groups as well as change your ad group budget. Three, you can add new keywords or products to your PPC campaign. Fourth, you can change keywords and product bids within your campaigns. So now we're going to understand why bulk operations is crucial. So as you already know, one pain point that we have noticed for most Amazon sellers is how consuming optimizing multiple PPC campaigns is. And if they're not monitored regularly, they can drain you a lot of money. I have been there and I'm sure you all have been there too. So with your business growing, we understand that it gets so difficult to manage PPC campaigns and give the time and effort it requires. And we also understand how important sponsored display ads are in terms of your brand's visibility on the platform. So what can one do? So the only solution you're left with is bulk operations and Seller Central has a bulk operation feature on their dashboard as well. However, it is so time consuming and it is a very a scary place to be in as a beginner seller. I have been there. So this is why this feature within Seller App Suite is going to be very helpful for you. So Seller App Bulk Operation Tool has been made by our experts keeping one thing in mind, which is how to save time and how to make it seller friendly for you sellers out there. And we have also noticed that this was one of the features that was most requested by you sellers out there. So this is why we have implemented it finally on our dashboard and it is ready to go and it is ready for you sellers to give it a try. So this powerful feature also lets you add or remove multiple keywords and product attributes at one given time. So you can also adjust your bids and budgets um, using our bulk operations and this is all done offline locally on your computer or your laptop. So you don't have to worry about finding an internet connection. So you can do this on the go. 
You can also view and edit all your PPC campaigns in one single sheet and this will save you the hassle of going through multiple sheets to find your PPC campaign. Also, this feature is available in multiple marketplaces. It's currently supported um, in whichever marketplace Seller App Advertising Suite is available in. So those countries are US, UK, UAE, Canada, India, Australia, Japan, and so many more. So log into our dashboard to see which all countries it's supported in. And if it's supported in your geo, let's get started. Also, while I'm giving you the demo, you'll realize how easy it is to use Seller App's bulk operations, and you will not want to go back to Seller Center and upload each one of your um, bulk sheets manually so I'm really excited for you to watch the demo. So let's take a look at Seller App's bulk operation feature and how powerful it is to optimize all your PPC campaigns at one go. Also if how easy it is to use it into your day-to-day -day life and it fits perfectly into the hectic schedule that sellers usually have and if you're growing on the platform it is very easy to insert this feature um, into your day-to-day -day scheduling because it does not take that much time. Also this will be a step-by-step -step process so if you feel like you need to stop or pause at any time this whole video is timestamped so feel free to stop and go through this video section by section so it is easier for you to understand the feature so you can pause go back get a cup of coffee and get back again to continue watching this video and let's get started. So first you have to log into your seller app dashboard and then go to advertising then you open campaign manager which is within the advertising feature and click on bulk operations button right here which is in the top right corner what you see now is seller apps bulk operation feature interface as you can see it's simple and easy to understand if you scroll down we have given a brief explanation on how to use the tool so as mentioned before there are two things that you can do with this feature First, you can create new campaigns, ad groups, or keywords. And second, you can edit existing campaigns, ad groups, or keywords. So let me show you how to create new campaigns or ad groups with Seller App's bulk operations. So before we begin, here are the few things that you should know. First, all the status fields here are non-case sensitive. Second, the bidding strategy field is also non-case sensitive. Third, you do not have to fill in the record ID, campaign ID, and record type fields. Fourth, both the creation and updation process will be based on entity names. And fifth, in case of creation, the process will be executed for an entity and if entity with no such name exists. For example, if you're creating a new campaign, that will only happen if you don't have an existing campaign with the same name. So note that the campaign's name are all case sensitive. So let's start creating new campaigns, ad groups, and keywords. So if you want to create new campaigns, you have to create and upload a new bulk spreadsheet to Seller App bulk operation feature. So you can click here to download a bulk operation template. Once downloaded, we can start creating a new bulk spreadsheet. So if you're wondering what is bulk sheet exactly, it is a spreadsheet a base tool that helps you simultaneously manage your sponsored ad campaigns. Sellers who are managing their ad campaigns can download the file, make edits to the metrics and upload it to Seller App Dashboard. Now I'm going to make the copy of the downloaded template. This is going to be our new bulk spreadsheet. So you can use your favorite software to edit the spreadsheet like Excel, Google Sheets, Apple Numbers. The only important note here is to make sure that you save the spreadsheet as a XLSX file. Also, the sheet should be in English and no other language is supported on our dashboard. So you open the bulk spreadsheet and these are all the data columns that come with the bulk sheet. There are portfolio views and then you have sponsored brand campaigns, sponsored display campaigns, sponsored product campaigns. We don't need to fill all of these and currently Seller App Bulk Operations only support sponsored product campaigns. So let's go ahead and create new campaigns in sponsored products. So similar to how you set up a campaign as Seller Central, there are four levels of campaigns entities within the ad structure. The first one is campaign. The second one is ad group. The third one is keywords or products that you need to target within that ad. And the fourth level is product ads where you can specify the SKU you want to advertise. 
So first, let's create a campaign. Once again, there are a few things that you need to know first. For any campaign creation, the campaign start date will have defaulted to today's date if the start date you give is in the past or today. If you don't specify a start date, it will be defaulted to the day you start the campaign creation. If you have given a future start date, the created campaign will start delivering from the date mentioned. For an empty campaign end date, no end date will be provided. In other words, the campaign will run indefinitely until you specify an end date. For the campaign creation process, campaign name, campaign daily budget, campaign targeting types are mandatory fields. The default state of the campaign is paused unless specified in status. And finally, the default bidding strategy of the campaigns will be dynamic bidding down only unless specified otherwise. So the first column that you need to fill in is the campaign. For this demo, I'm going to give the name Seller App Demo Exact. Next, you need to set the campaign daily budget. So you can set a value that's right for you. It depends on the niche keywords and the goals. So let's give a daily budget of let's say $15. The next field that you need to fill in the campaign start date and the campaign end date. So as we mentioned, if you leave the start date blank, it will default to today's date and it will run indefinitely if you don't set a campaign end date. So let's give it today's date and start the date and the end date of two months from now. The next field you need to fill is in the campaign's targeting type. So there are two options here. You can either do auto targeting or manual targeting. Keep in mind that once you have set a targeting type for the campaign, you cannot change it in the future. Let's do manual for this demo. Next, you need to fill in the campaign status column. I'm going to make this enabled. So by default, this will be paused to make sure to specify the status. The final column that you need to fill here is bidding strategy. By default, it will be set to dynamic bidding. So let's keep it dynamic bidding for this demo. Next is ad group. As before, there are a couple of requirements that you should be aware of. First, for ad group creation, campaign, ad group and max bid columns are mandatory. Second, the default state of ad groups is paused unless specified. Let's start by copying the campaign name to the next row. This row will be for ad group creation. The next column after campaign will be ad group. For this example, let me give seller app demo ad group one as the ad group name. The next column that you need to fill is max bid. Again, give this value depending on your needs. For this demo, let me give a max bid of $5. And finally, go to the ad group status column and type in enabled. Otherwise, it will be paused by default. Things you need to know for keyword targeting. For keywords, campaign name, ad group name, keyword or product targeting match, match type field are necessary. If the max bid column is empty, the default build of the ad group is taken. If you have specified a max bid for the keyword, it only applies to that particular keyword and not the entire ad group. By default, the state of the added keyword will be enabled or delivering unless you specify otherwise. And these are the things you need to know for product targeting. For product targeting, campaign name, ad group name, keyword or product targeting, product targeting ID, match type fields are necessary. What you see on the screen now is a format for entering ASIN. If the max bid column is empty, the default build of the ad group is taken. If you have specified a max bid for the product, it only applies to the particular product and not the entire ad group. By default, the state will be enabled or delivering unless you specify otherwise. Just like we have done before, copy the campaign name and the ad group name from above. In the next column, which is max bid, you need to specify the keyword or the product specific bid. For this example, let me give a max bid of $4, which is closer to the upper limit that we have specified. But this is just an example. You should give a value that works for your ad goals. The next column is the keyword or product targeting. This is where you add the keyword or your product ASIN that you want the ad to target. The amazing thing is that you don't need to go far to find some powerful keywords for your Amazon PPC campaign. Just check out the seller app keyword feature. It's simple. Go back to your seller app dashboard, 
select keyword tool. You can use keyword research to find popular and converted keywords for your campaign. Or you can use reverse ASIN to find keywords used by your competitors. Enter the keyword, click search and now you have found the absolute best keyword for your PPC campaign. So going back to the bulk operations, let's export the report by clicking here. Once exported, open it. And for this example, let's take the top 5 keywords according to Seller Apps and L Powered relevancy scored and add those keywords under the keyword or product targeting column. You can do either phrase match, exact match or broad match. For this demo, I'm going to add exact match for all 5 keywords. The final thing that you need to do is to activate all these keywords. For that, go to the status column and type enable for all 5 keywords. On an important note, do not forget to populate campaign name, ad group name, max bid, keyword or product targeting, match type, status field for all the keywords that you add. So let's look at the next entity which is product ads. This is where you specify the SKUs that you want to be advertised. There are a few requirements that you need to know before here as well. For adding products, campaign name, ad group name, they have to be existing valid names and it has to be mandatory. The SKU field is mandatory and has to be in case sensitive. Status is a mandatory field. As before, the first field that you need to fill is the campaign. Copy the campaign name from above. Next, you need to specify the ad group. Copy the ad group name that you have given above. The next field that you need to fill is the most important one, which is the SKU. This is where you need to specify the product that you want to advertise. You can add either your product ASIN or SKU number. For this example, I'm going to say ASIN here, but you need to specify your actual ASIN or your SKU number. Finally, you need to fill in the status column. This is mandatory field, so make sure you mention enabled here. So this is how you create campaigns, ad groups or keywords. If you want to add more campaigns or ad groups, just repeat the process until you have given the details to all the campaigns you want to create. Now let's save our new bulk spreadsheet. I'm going to name it seller app demo bulk example, then go to the file and click save. Once again, make sure that you have saved it as a XLXS file. Now let's upload our new bulk sheet. It is really simple. Go back to bulk operations within the campaign manager. And as you can see here on the right side, there is a card titled upload your file to update the campaign. You can either click on it and select the bulk sheet document from your computer or drag and drop. After that, click on upload and update changes. Depending on the file size, it may take up to three hours to create or make changes. And we have now successfully created multiple Amazon PPC campaigns within a short period of time. So if you're wondering how you can edit and update your existing ad group, keywords or campaigns, this is how you do so. So now let's take a look on how you can edit one of your existing Amazon PPC campaigns. To do that, you need to create and export a bulk spreadsheet with the existing data. It is a simple process. Open bulk operations, then select a date range. You can choose to exclude the terminated campaigns, campaign items with zero impressions and placement data. Click on create spreadsheet for download and your bug spreadsheet will be downloaded. So there are a few guidelines that you should follow while editing the bug spreadsheet. Let's take a look. First, ensure that the downloaded and uploaded files have the same column headers. Second, while adding a new row, make sure you copy and paste the exact campaign name to avoid errors. To avoid potential mistakes, make sure you don't make any changes to the campaign name in ad group name columns while editing the campaigns. In terms of the record ID column, you can delete the values, but it should not be edited. In case of any mismatch between the uploaded files and the downloaded file, for example, if there is a typo in your campaign name, bulk action will fail. When there are multiple actions within a row, Seller App's algorithm will prioritize the actions depending on the below mentioned hierarchy. First priority is your campaign. Second is campaign by placement. Third is ad group. Fourth priority is your ad. 
Fifth priority is keyword and product targeting. And sixth priority is products to advertise or SKUs. For example, if you have downloaded the bulk sheet aiming to update only the max bit of your ad group, make sure that the campaign status column is empty because even though this column comes after ad group and max bit column in the bulk sheet, campaign status will be considered first as it belongs to the campaign entity, which is prioritized over ad group in the hierarchy as we mentioned earlier. So we will consider this to be an updation process of the campaign status column within the campaign entity. Similarly, even though the bidding strategy column is nearly at the end of the bulk sheet, any changes you make within the ad group entity will not be considered since bidding strategy belongs to the campaign entity which is prioritized over the ad group entity. Now let's get started. First, open the bulk sheet that you have downloaded. Since we have already gone through the process of how you can create new campaigns with the help of bulk spreadsheets, this will be pretty easy to understand. Update the columns where you want to make changes. For example, I want to change the max bid of the first three keywords in the first campaign to $3. Let me go to the max bid column and change the value of the first three keywords to $3. Let me save the changes and once again, make sure that it is saved as a .xlxs file. And before you go back to bulk operations and like we did before, click inside the upload your file or update campaign card and you can drop your bulk sheet here. After that, click upload and update changes. Easy, right? So that is everything you need to know about Seller Apps bulk operation. Using Seller Apps Bulk Operation is the best way to maximize your operation efficiency while operating on your PPC campaigns. And if you have a big portfolio with multiple PPC campaigns and you want to edit them or you want to update them, this is the best way to go. So that's it for today, everyone. Let us know what you thought of this video in the comment section below. And if you would like us to cover more features in the future, let us know which feature you want to see in the comment section below. Do not forget to like this video and do not forget to subscribe to this video to join our ever-growing seller app community and of course while you're subscribing there is a bell icon next to it do not forget to click on the bell icon that way you can be notified each time we upload a new video until the next time happy selling